Hi guys, my name is Gwena James Girl and welcome to episode 9, I think, yeah, episode 9 of, I was going to say Sims 4, we're not playing Sims 4, of um, episode uh, Mean Girls Senior Year. We have a new, um, we have a new game, my brother's, my brother's best friend, I may have to have a little go at that, let me know down in the comments if you would like me to have a little go at that. But let's crack on with Mean Girls Senior Year. So in the last episode we went on a little date, kind of a date thing, with Mika. And so it says, episode 9, Katie gives you advice on the Mika situation and a letter from Yale brings your future into sharp focus. Before I knew it, friend had become Mika's favourite word. Okay. It was practically his nickname for me. Hey Mika! Who? Oh no, it's just my friend, Green Eyed. I gotta go. What's up? Oh, they're in like the friend zone, maybe. Ooh, what's this? Snow, is it snow? Yes, then in December, ho, 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 one candy cane gram from Mika Bergman to my friend, a green-eyed gemsicle. Not a happy bunny, she don't wanna be friends. And then when we got back from winter break, holy, Barreezing! I don't think my jacket is cut out for this. Borrow mine. I'd give any friend the shirt off my back. Or the jacket, rather. Oh dear. It's been two months since he dropped the friend bomb, and I'm still queen of friendland. I've tried to relinquish. I've tried to relinquish my throne, but he just won't have it. Describe tried. Have you guys kissed? I've never had an opening. Hmm. Let's see what's gonna happen today. In those months, things with Regina slash Yale hadn't, got any, hadn't gotten any less tense either. Here's Karen. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Karen Uncensored. The battle for Yale is icy as ever. I'm here with Regina George, North Shore student body president and favoured contender for best hair. Hashtag blessed. So Regina, acceptance letters are due any day. Three million dollars on the line. How do you feel? Confident? Nervous? Me? I don't get nervous. I'll just say when I get to Yale, I'm going to have a killer party. Oh, so she's not even like if. There's no doubt in her mind it's when she gets there. And you can come even though you got rejected. I guess she's talking to us. How generous. Green eyed, same question. Are you nervous? Oh, is she nervous? Oh, let's say yes, no. Why does everyone always ask that? Let's say no. Let's be confident. Sure, Regina submitted an impressive application. However, I know I have a higher academic standing, so I feel confident these factors will give me an advantage. You're not giving a speech, it's Karen's channel. You can talk like a regular person, aren't I? Aren't I? Ugh. But applications are in, so you guys can be regular friends. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't think they can be. Sure. I like your hair. I like your hair. So false. Damien! Gretchen! Like, yeah, let's go. And now, viewer questions. Commenter Ovid3ab asks, where do you stand on Pal Palestine? Great question. Personally, I think Palestine is a cool alternative to Valentine's Day. She's not the brightest, is she? If you don't have a boyfriend, why not spend it with your pals? Oh my goodness. Let's see, next question. Ooh. You still haven't talked to Janice? Oh my goodness, I haven't talked. It's been months, I think. Or like at least a few weeks since last episode, isn't it? And they haven't talked. I gave her a chance. I said, Janice, friends have traditions. And if you want to be friends, then you need to stick to ours. But she's still planning on spending Valentine's Day with her boyfriend. Surely Valentine's Day. I mean, New Year, I would, like, he was complaining about New Year. Maybe I get that. But Valentine's Day? Come on, Damien. Someday you will have your own Valentine and you won't give two snaps about how Janice spends hers. Oh, that's the dream, isn't it? <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, I'll probably just watch a bunch of movies with my mum. Why don't you spend it in that 
Why don't you spend it with that moody piece of man candy you're always fighting with? Mika, I cannot imagine the kind of rant he'd go on if somebody brought up Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is pure art, art, artifact. Valentine's Day is pure artifice, cultivated by the greeting card industry to prey on our emotional frailties. You have him down to a T. That sounds like Mika, doesn't it? I have dreamy eyes. Please value my thoughts. <laughs> what are your plans for V-Day? I'm going to personally design Valentine's for a few people I highly admire. Hope I get one. Precious as you are, you are not on the US men's diving team. However, I could be persuaded to make a valentine for you to send to Mika. He strikes me as the type that would respond to over-the-top romantic gestures. Or, I could send something deliciously evil to dear Miss George. That sounds a better idea. The look on her face would make my valentine say. Ooh. Oh, we can't do any! Send a nice valentine to Mika, send a mean valentine to Regina, send a valentine to both. We're going to have to pass, we have no gems. I'll pass, but thanks Damien. Fine, more for the US diving team. Oh, here's Katie. Hey, have got any news for me? I got into University of Evanston, but still nothing from Yale. Well, congrats. Thank you. I'm still hold holding out for Yale though, maybe I'll get the news today. Any word from MIT? Yep. I got in! Woo! Little dance! So, are you gonna go? <laughs> Funny you should ask, I'm afraid that question will turn thermonuclear this weekend. Oh? Aaron is visiting for Valentine's Day. I haven't told him I got in yet. Well, good luck. Call if you need anything. Thanks, green -eyed. I do have a great boyfriend. Oh, here's Mika. You say that now. What do you mean? Relationships are society. I can't read the words that he says. So societal construct designed to stimulate security, but in fact they just propagate resentment. That that's why you just want to be friends, I guess. Mika's not shy with his opinions. I can see. Whoa, I sense palpable chemistry between you two. Palpable. 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 <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's so clear he's into you. I don't know, he just won't stop using the F word with me. What? Friend. Oh, got ya. <laughs> I don't know, green eyed. You really think he likes me? I'll bet on it, and I aced AP statistics. Bell rings, a ring, a ring. I have more important things to worry about than Mika Bergman. Like whether or not the mailbox holds my collegiate fate today. Good luck! We're not going to get in, are we? I'm pretty sure. I checked the mailbox on the way in, but nada. I hope she does get in. Mum, did you already get the mail? Yeah, arrived just before you got home. Anything? Nah, not really. A couple of bills, one of those little coupon packets. Oh, and an envelope from Yale. <gasps> what? Are you ready? Everything's been for this moment and now it's here and whoa. Open it up, baby. Oh my goodness, are we going to get in? I'm quite nervous. Moment of truth. Oh no, it's a little letter. A little letter is a rejection letter, isn't it? And a big letter is an acceptance. So, I got waitlisted this it oh god it must mean that Regina got in this is karma for what I did when I was 12 oh honey don't be ridiculous it's some it's because you fell short somewhere these last few weeks get defensive or agree let's get defensive I'm sick of this mum mum I did everything I could look they didn't outright reject you there's still a possibility you could get in I don't know mum, I got into University of Evanston, maybe I should just... University of Evanston is great, but it is not Yale, and Yale is what we, see we, really want, right? More than anything. You can do this, I didn't teach my daughter to give up. Now, we're going to sit down, figure out what went wrong and map out a plan. Okay. 
I know you had a kind of rusty start with the election and I know your SATs weren't as strong as your practice tests, but still, am I missing anything here? Nothing, Mum. Maybe I shouldn't have let you go to that party back in the first week of school. Oh, maybe if we hadn't gone to that party, we might have gone to Yale. Oh, hindsight is a wonderful thing. If a party on a school night is the baseline we set, I can only imagine where your focus went from there. No, Mum, I did my best, but my best just wasn't good enough. Don't you get it? Everything was fine until you made us move here. Uh-oh, oh, this is going bad. If I was still back at my old school, this envelope would have had an acceptance letter. Green eyed. I just need to be alone right now. Oh, we're annoyed. Big argument with Mum. I need some fresh I needed some fresh air to clear my mind, so I ended up at the park. Aww, so sad. We ignorant of ourselves beg often our own harms, which the wise powers deny us for our own good. They're doing Anthony and Cleopatra. Just what I need. Another tragedy. <laughs> Greenard! Where's Mika? I don't see Mika. Oh, he's over here. I didn't think I'd see you here. Mika, hey. Yeah, I just have to get out of the house. Those actors aren't bad, huh? Yeah. They practice here every week, rain or shine. It's impressive. But you're just as good as they are. You'd be crazy not to pursue it. Oh, I wish. Hey, are you alright? You look kind of upset. I'm majorly upset. Let's be honest with him. I'm majorly upset. My whole world just blew up in my face. Hey, it's okay. Do you want to tell me what you mean? I, um, I, I got waitlisted by Yale. Oh. You don't have to say anything. I already know. You think it's shallow. No, that's not. I'm really sorry. I know how much it meant to you. It really did. Aww. I never knew anything about my father. All I had was a folder with like a first name and a bullet list of info. Six foot one, no family history of diabetes, Yale graduate. My mum showed it to me when I was five. Wow, that's pretty wild. I can't imagine. I always felt like I was missing half my identity and Yale was the only slither of that half I could latch onto, that I could connect with. I know that might seem silly, but going to Yale, it means everything to me. It's quite sad really, isn't it? Bless her. That's not silly at all. I never told my mum that part of it. And to make matters worse, she was trying to be supportive and I snapped at her and I feel terrible. If she's anything like you, I'm sure she'll be very understanding. What are you going to do? I have no clue. For the first time in my life, I really don't know. Well, I know exactly what to do. Huh? To make you feel better, let's get out of here. But the play? I've seen it, and the spoiler alert, it turns out terribly for every character. Hence, we should ditch this. And go where? Ooh, where are they going to go? Okay, I ordered an extra large veggie delight. You remembered what I ordered? Of course. So many vegetables on that thing, it's practically a salad. So I figured I should get an extra large. You figured right. Oh, and I also got a side of mozzarella sticks because I support breaded cheese as a concept. How does that sound? Like a beautiful stomachache, kind of cheesy, like too much food. I think it sounds like a beautiful stomachache. Like a beautiful stomachache, I can already taste the regret. That's the idea, just move the chaos from your mind to your intestines. Let's grab a table. Oh, they're so nice together, I wish they would get together. I'll admit, aside from the fact my stomach might explode, this was a good idea. See? Not all my ideas are pontifical nonsense. You're way more self-aware than I thought. I usually just don't care what other, other people think. I wish I could do that. That's a good way to be. Your big brain probably just gets in the way. You feel better? Much. Good. Oh, this is it. Are they gonna... Is a kiss happening? Holy deep dish. Oh, what should we do? Go for it or not yet? Go for it. Is it? Wow. <laughs> wow. I, um, I should probably get back. Come on, I'll drive you home. Ooh. 
what a night from the extreme low of the wait list to this extreme high there's like this weird feeling in my stomach when it isn't all the pizza it feels awesome <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad. That'll be the end, I think. Yep, there you go. That is the end of episode nine of episode Mean Girls Senior Year. Thanks so much for watching this episode. Join me next week where for episode 10, where it says your drama with Regina takes centre stage as you both audition for a starring role in Mika's masterpiece. Uh-oh. It's going to get tense next episode, I think. Thanks so much for watching this. Thumbs up if you enjoyed. I will see you guys soon. Bye.